Hey guys, it's Bomb Primus here, and today we're going to continue with Mother 3, Chapter 3, Part 4. Alright, we left off with uh, Borat here leaving the room. And now we're going to continue. Okay, what's going on here? It's... Oh, it's empty. Oh, there's the music. What the hell's going on here? Yo, right at the Hosaha Castle, good. Wait until dawn, until dawn th then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle. That's it. You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He got a brown hair, a gloomy feel, such a bad breath, and looks like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it in your hands. Stay alert. Oh. Wow, you saw that? The magic magically just floated right towards him. Wonderful. Uh, oh god, my nuts! They're fried! What the hell? Uh, do you think? You could run away from me! That's why! You're such a stupid monkey! Okay, I'm gonna slash this guy's throat in his sleep. Why don't we go back to the room, bitch? Watch. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. <sighs> don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh! Yay! Bastard. But you know, if you're going to run away, I'm sure there's someone more intelligent ways you could have done it. By trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk without making any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> Good to know, retard. Now you just told me the ways to do it. Good job. And yes, I know the bottom of the screen and the side of the screen. You can see the borders of the uh, emulator. My bad. So you people won't bitch at me, I'm gonna fix it up real quick. Oh my god, it's slowing down. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not the type of person who gives a crap about, you know, if there's any weird shit going on during the video and stuff, to be honest. Uh, come on, a couple of times you saw my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, my name and then the uh, windows bar popping up and everything. Look at that, it's causing monkey nightmares. I would just claw him in his, in his sleep, man. Just claw, his, claw him in his sleep. Grab his uh, jugular and just rip it out. That's it. Kill him instantly. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen. Just keep doing your tricks. All happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even, try it. I'll even take you back to the girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra helping of punishment. Got that? Yeah, fucking douche. All right, let's run this. Come on, fatty, burn some calories. What's going on here? They're playing Italian music, and this guy's an Arab or Muslim or Middle Eastern. I don't know what is he. He's just Middle Eastern in some way. Persian, I guess. Persian, there we go. Better off. Come, gather aloud! Come one and all! For dozens of dance milli, congratulations are noted for the hard work you put in every single day. Dance, monkey, dance! I've come here today to give you an all wonderful news about happiness! Yay! Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with some wondrous things. But there's still something missing, a tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Ah, oh, he left. All the animals that never have been seen before now look in our forest and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? 
and that's not all. Not by a long shot. The world, the word on the wind says that that every that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and winds will rain down on us almost daily. Oh, you laugh at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But you believe this will soon be a reality. In times like this, isn't it a human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. Hello! You can tame up in this very easily! Just look here, even my cute adorable son is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey hasn't gotten a head, has gotten a head start on a taming happiness. Woo! Yeah, let's leave. How exactly did little sausage manage to find happiness? All of those who are interested, please raise your hands voicelessly. Who wants to be happy? Me? 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 Hey, what the hell, me? Okay, little Sasa, go and ask people who want to be happiness for the names. Please keep your your hands raised, folks. I'm um, Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I'm Abby. I respect my husband above. There's nothing bad at having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. Just want to see if it's really that easy to be happy. Woo! I'm Abby. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. I hardly explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I like to see what happiness looks like, too. You, you notice that of, of all the characters I do, everyone at Tess mainly are a bunch of, like, hicks and farmers and... Everyone! If even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be alright in the world. For those who, who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And decide that you do want happiness after all. Feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's for today's show. My happiness comes to this village. Whoop! Take care! Now then, come along, little Sasa. Let us return to the Yaro Inn. Do, 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 do. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, it's me. What is it? Do you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough? Alright. I'll be over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Alright, monkey, listen up. The happy, ba happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names are you took early. About Abby, Biff, Isaac. Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. Even if you try run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yes. Basically saying he's gonna rape the girl if he, she run, if he runs away. Oh. Bestiality. Then get it already. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'll make, I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart. Because I feel just terrible you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful. <laughs> Alright. Well. Let's see here. Let's run. Run, monkey, run. Why does he run with a wobble? Look at it, look at his ass. It's like it's wobbling up and down, 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 up and down. Okay, that's just weird. I'm looking at a monkey's ass. Okay. Oh, here's the boxes. Alright then, well uh guess I'm gonna cut it off here since it's reaching the uh limit for YouTube, so until next time guys, this is Palm Primus. Uh keep it crunchy and peace out. Woo!